The Modern Warfare Remastered Multiplayer Public Servers are live. What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today we are going to be talking about this insane news. I'm going to tell you guys how exactly you can join up to be able to play the multiplayer early and what you can expect. But before we get into that, I do want to make it clear that the gameplay you guys are watching on screen right here is not new gameplay. It's coming from a couple of weeks ago when I went to Raven Software and I had permission to record and upload. So I want to make sure that's very, very clear. I don't want any copy copyright strikes. If Activision is watching this video, this is from when I was allowed to record and post it. But anyway, guys, yes, the servers have gone live. So it's been kind of an interesting day. There was an update where some people could get into the offline mode and some people didn't have access to it. And there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. And then just a few minutes ago, the servers actually went online. Now, the deal is the only way for you to be able to get into a lobby is by joining at somebody else's game who is already in online. If you just go straight to the menu online, is still going to be locked, but if you join somebody else's game, you are going to be able to get in. Now, it gets better from here. Once you get into that game, it's almost like your account is verified in a way. If you leave that game, you're still going to have access to multiplayer. Then you can just go straight to the main menu to multiplayer and you'll have access to it. Now, right now, you only have two options. Number one is playing TDM in public matches or playing private matches. Pretty much everything else is locked, so you can play TDM and rank up, or you can go into your private matches. You can invite your friends, anybody who has a game pre downloaded they can join up and uh, you guys can play any sort of game mode you want in the private match playlist so that's kind of cool now the question is why is this happening like what's going on here this has been a really really weird day well I personally don't think it's intentional so obviously I don't know for sure but I want to say that it's some sort of like crazy Illuminati plan of Activision stealing users from Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2, but I don't think that's what they were doing here. I think if that was their intention, they would have actually announced this. They would have made it public. They would have made it a pre-order bonus to help drive sales of the game. I think this is a total accident and uh, it's not really what they intended. Honestly, with my experience in the past, obviously almost every year I get Call of Duty early, and in the week leading up to the launch of the game, especially like the, the five to seven days out, they'll start testing the servers. So things will go online, you'll be able to play for like two hours, and then they'll take them back down. And then they'll come back up the next day, or really late at night, or like random stuff. It's just, it's super sporadic, and I don't know what it is. It's gotta be like the devs testing the servers and seeing what the latency looks like. And I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but that's kind of what they do. And then the last like day or two leading up to the actual launch of the game, the servers come online and stay online. So we aren't at that point yet. I would assume we're at some sort of testing phase and uh, I wouldn't expect this to last for too long. This, I, I seriously do not think this will last all the way up until Friday at the launch. I think it's going to come down probably sometime tonight or tomorrow, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it shakes out. Now, I've got a couple of things to mention here at the end of the video that I know are going to answer a lot of questions. Number one, are you going to get banned for playing this early? Absolutely not. It is not your fault that Activision and Infinity Ward are allowing this to happen. So feel free to hop on, check out the game, play it, have fun. Honestly, I'd be really surprised if they reset stats. Usually at this point, they won't reset stats. So if you rank up to like level 20 tonight, you're going to be level 20 on Friday, most likely. So that'll be kind of cool. So don't worry about getting banned unless you're posting footage or screenshots. Don't upload any YouTube videos. Don't live stream. Don't even post screenshots on Twitter because all of that stuff, they're gonna be striking down. I talked to my kind of like Activision rep, like my contact at Activision. He said they are still actively striking all Modern Warfare Remastered content. That's why I wanted to make it clear at the beginning of this video that this is not new content I recorded tonight. It's stuff I had from a couple of weeks ago when I had permission. So seriously guys, I mean, unless you want to lose your YouTube channel, your Twitch channel, your Twitter, or anything else, I would not post that stuff because they are going to be taking down stuff left and right. So just watch out for that and uh, just enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't be an asshole. Don't spoil it for other people who don't have access yet because I think this is only available on PlayStation 4. Just enjoy it for yourself. Rank up a little bit. Get a little head start. And uh, we'll have some fun tonight. So I hope to see you guys in some lobbies. I will definitely be out there in TDM. Make sure you guys look out for me. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.